Matawa First Nations Management has made a $20,000 contribution to the underground gym and youth centre. The money supports ongoing youth programming and some upcoming renovation projects at the facility. Mitchell Ringos has more. Handing over the donation to underground gym founder Peter Panetta was Matawa CEO David Paul Achney Panescom, who says the gym has invested in members of the Matawa community who live in Thunder Bay for over 20 years. He says they wanted to give back to the organization that has made their members feel welcomed and supported in the community. And even though $20,000 is a large donation, Achney Panescom says the gym needs more and he made a call to action for others. We cannot just rely on other organizations to help our people. We got to do it ourselves. Too. And that's why we're encouraging other Indigenous organizations, First Nation organizations here in the city, come on and help out as well. Panetta was welcoming to the idea of more funding and thankful for the $20,000 as the underground gym does not have core funding, meaning they rely on donations like this. Panetta says the money will be put towards new programming and future plans, including renovations of the second floor. But he says this announcement is about more than just funding. I'm so happy that we have connected. And I think this is not just about money. I really believe that David, Paul and I can make more happen for the children. Together, we can make a lot more happen for the children. I mean, you know, it's a partnership that I think works well. And Panetta says around 90% of his clients are Indigenous, with roughly 25% of them being Matawa members. We talked to one parent who regularly brings her children to the centre as she said, this funding is very encouraging for the future. I think it would be very beneficial for all the attendees of the, of the underground gym. There's so much possibilities. It like opens up so much options for the gym to expand their services to all the children and youth who utilize them. Mitchell Ringos, TBT News.